Yeah, g'day all. Um, just a quick unboxing video of the CX500 Turbo 1.6 scale kit from Tamiya. Um, I haven't seen one of these on eBay on um, YouTube, so I thought I'd just do a quick unbox. I've already opened this box, but you get the idea. Um, it's a huge box, um, beautifully made model, but anyways, um, just to give you some idea of scale, there's my normal size hand on this huge box. Box is lovely, shows the um, completed model, uh, the engine as it should look. I believe you can buy the engine on its own. Don't see the point of that because it's the same one that's in this kit and you get the rest of the bike as well. But uh, yeah, lots of detail. And some close up pics of the bike, what it should look like to help build it. Very nice, very detailed. Yeah, so you'll have to forgive my handheld camera work here, I don't have a tripod. Anyway, so lid off, and get it off. And big box of bits. Um, gold rims already in the right colour. I don't have that colour, I don't think it's bloody hard to do, so that's handy. And then if we open that up, I think we'll find. forks in there, different colour gold. I have a CX500 Turbo in the shed and uh, these colours actually match up really well. So that's the wheels and front forks. This is all the uh, plated bits. No shiny horrible chrome. It's all uh, as it is on the bike. It's, I um, don't know what you'd call it, just polished aluminium sort of look. Yeah, it looks um, very close to what the actual bike looks like. Of course I'll be stripping all this back and painting it because it's um, when you take these bits off the sprues they leave little bits, little marks and things which are a pain. There are some shiny chrome bits I lied, there you go, so there's a headlight, mirrors, um, the water pipe and the fuel cap. Just more small bits. I think these are just body bits mostly, seat, fenders, and whatnot. Not sure what these black rings are. I think they're probably spacers for the wheels. That's a lovely detail. Main frame. Again, you can get an idea of the size of the model with my hand behind it. Quite big. Exhaust pipes, radiator, um, that must be the back half of the radiator. Yeah, all good. And then over here we have the body parts, fairing main fairing. It's already in a pearlescent sort of colour but again it'll be being sprayed. My bike's um, being sprayed at the moment so I've got the painter to give me some leftover paint which I'll be painting this so I know it's accurate. It's the main fairing and all the other bits, fuel tank, rear cowling side covers. Glass bits, windshield, headlight, that's the battery, it's probably not focusing there, it's the battery box that you build up with a bunch of stickers and things, instrument, surround, but what makes these kits fairly special is all this stuff, it's basically tyres, I'm not going to take these out of the wrapper just yet. Tyres look basically like real ones. A uh, metal side stand. Try and get this to focus if I can. Metal side stand. 
uh, boot rubber boot for the um, main shock various metal shafts and things for wheels and whatnot I'm not sure what those bolts are for that's the front forks this kit has operating forks on it with springs so they actually work so does the rear shock that's another part of the front forks a bunch of springs and tubes and nuts and bolts and whatnot and the indicator lenses and brake light lenses are in there I'm guessing yes very cool the uh, transfers unlike the 112 scale kit these transfers are actually the correct colour the 112 kit has a sort of a light coloured sticker I'm not sure what that's about but these are the actual proper colours it's going to look exactly like my bike when I'm done and then under here is the engine bits so that's the rear engine case that's the front the uh, barrels all the turbo -y bits yeah, lots of details, really good and here's the manual of a history of the bike, how it all came to be, the specs, and the usual Tamiya construction guide. It's actually pretty clever, if anything that's blue, like the component has any blue on it, that means you glue it, which I think is pretty, pretty good, makes it really easy to follow. There's a lot, fair bit to do. I wouldn't say it's a beginner's kit. Um, lots of uh, painting and bolting and whatnot. It helps having the bike. I know exactly how they go together, so that's going to help me a lot. Because this is actually quite true to the actual construction of the of the real thing. Even just the wheels is a fair bit of detail. Lots of little bits to be painted. I'm trying to try and get this as accurate as possible. I'm not going to dirty it up though, it's a, um, I'll be building it as a brand new one just uh, I figure that most turbos when they were bought probably looked after not sure how much of this will make out on YouTube but and then if we skip through a bit see here that's how the forks go together to make them operational very nice they basically look like the real thing when you look at the picture of them and at the back is just all the sprues and what the bits are all they're all numbered makes it easier to find things and there's our colour guide of the sprues, all the metal bits and pieces. The side stand's operational as far as I know. I'm not sure about the main stand, I believe it is, but I don't know. Anyway, that's that. I'll be building this um, within the next month or so and then probably take me a couple of months to finish it. I'll build slow. That's it.